We've been talking a lot about the way that energy transfers through the ecosystem and how the ecosystem is limited or helped by the energy flow that, that we talked about. Now, energy is not the only thing that flows. Matter also flows. And in fact, energy flows through matter because remember, it's in the organic compounds like sugar that the energy is flowing through the ecosystem. But matter also f flows through the ecosystem and there's very uh, important chemicals that we talked about in ecology and that cycled through the, the ecosystem instead of flowing. Now, before I start talking about that, there's an idea of, of reservoir. Now, a reservoir is an area where that chemical stays for a very long time. For example, a reservoir of water in the world is the oceans, or the clouds, or a lake, or a river. So it's an area where water is, can be found. In fact, life itself is a reservoir for water because all living things uh, have water in them. Between 80 and 90% of the living things are made up of water. So that means that water is also reserved in, in life. Uh, likewise, carbon uh, has a lot of reservoirs. There's carbon in rocks, there's carbon in fossil fuels, and there's you've probably heard of the term oil reserve, which are areas of the world full of fossil fuels, which are full of carbon, forests, living things. All those things are reservoirs of carbon. So reservoirs are areas where the chemicals accumulate uh, or stay for a very long period of time. Now remember that these chemicals will cycle eventually. And when you breathe, the molecule of carbon dioxide and you put that out or when you eat sugar that has carbon in it this carbon has been cycling through the environment for thousands of years it, it may have been carbon that was once in a fossil fuel that got burned a long time ago and then it got incorporated into, through photosynthesis uh, inside of a, of a plant and then eaten by a cow and then you eat you ate the cow and now the carbon is inside of you but this may have been the same carbon that was that a dinosaur uh, ate a long time ago and when a dinosaur died, he became the fossil fuel, which started the process. So you see this carbon cycles through the ecosystem, and it may, that element may stay in one of the reservoirs for a very long period of time, but eventually it moves around. So it, matter is constantly being transferred through the ecosystem. And of course, all of these processes require energy to make these transfers take place. But I need you to understand before we start talking about the biochemical cycles, which are these cycles that move around the matter and energy in the ecosystem, that the idea of a reservoir or an area where the chemical tends to stay. Now there are four main kinds of biochemical cycles we talk about. There's the water cycle, there is the carbon cycle, you all have the nitrogen cycle, and the phosphorus cycle. And we'll talk about each one of them in the next few videos.